first on the agenda, the request for parents for Bill 89 Hoffman and Lowe, St. Louis, Troy, Guilty, and Rule for a shed located within 35 foot no reserve no zone. Um, so, right. can you call it a great thing? Maybe uh, I can reach her. So, I'll just make a motion in September 20th. Is this the same place that she had to shed the warrant? Yes, it was a trailer. Trailer. Yeah, it's not a big, it was a trailer. And we just need to tend to go to shed. No, can't put a shed. Can't put anything there. She, want, she wants to use the trailer with the shed. This is going back to the last three days. Yeah, I know, but the last day she said that she wanted to get, she wanted this trailer gone. Yeah. Whatever. Is anyway, I'll just, I'll get that. You did that. She told us we can't continue the trailer. We're going to keep continuing. I'll sign. Yeah. Make a motion. Make a motion to sign. I'll make a motion. Make a motion to continue. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? All right. Aye. See? Aye. Next agenda, emergency certification, Russell Street, ratify emergency certification issue to have to keep removal of three trees, both the rest construction on the Google Bridge. So, Mass DOT got a letter from National Heritage saying that they need to survey the rare species bring slow growth, so they can't proceed with the project right now. They'll either come back in September with RDA or another certification. So we don't need to write up for this because there's no point. They're not going to be working for 30 days. So I'll get rid of it. Next is public comment. Um, I think, Jan, can you hear us? Good on you. You have to unmute. You're muted. Got it. I think I just did. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm Jan Peterson. I live at 32 Stockbridge Street in North Hadley. And um, the back of my property has a stream or a farmer's ditch, depending on who you talk to. Um, there is a tree there that has originally fallen, but it has regrown over the years. And with all the wind storms and everything, it's now kind of hanging over my prop. It's on my property, but it's hanging over. And I'm really, really anxious about um, mowing underneath it and stuff. And I feel like it's going uh, to fall because there's parts of it that are dead and parts of it that aren't. Um, and I just want permission to cut it. I haven't seen it, so... Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Kayla took pictures. Sure. What was your address again? 32 Stockbridge Street. 32. Yep. Whoops. Oh. Okay, so this is the tree. One with the branch. The big branch will look Yeah. No, just, just to just to notice that the tree is is a split into two, two separate. The first picture kind of shows it. The tree is split into two separate. Yeah, that one, that part, and then the branch up above on the other side. That one, yeah, that's those are the two that I'm worried about. But you can. So what about cutting off that big branch of that one right there? Cut that one right off. Cut the other one out. That part the left. And the one on. So this bottom part. Cut down. Cut down. Yeah. 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 So once so do the top part and the bottom V. To the one to the left, to the E, that little the arrow right now. Right, that cut that one right off. Today, the day will off the Hello? 
Hi, I'm sorry. Oh. No, we we're just saying cut that, cut that limb off. That's uh, making a tree come towards your or your your uh, property, and then that bottom one that looks like it's all dead. Can those be removed without kill, without taking taking down the rest of the tree? Yeah, that are dead. Try try turning off your video and seeing if that improves the audio. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. There you are. With, uh, Some of the branches up above are also not too healthy. I'm looking at my microphone. So, okay, does the commission want to approve the removal of that upper this branch yeah. at the top and then the bottom part where it's split? Okay, Jan. She saw that once more. Jan, would you would, do you are you do you want to cut the whole tree or just you cut you cut those parts? Is that you know? I think to do the whole tree because right next to it, if if looking at it, it would be on the right hand side is a maple tree that's growing there. I think you can kind of see the uh, the leaves there, and uh, I, I just wanted to get rid of it so that the maple tree would have more room. But that's what I, my preference would be. What kind of tree is it? I don't know. That I asked Kayla that. I recognize the leaves at all. Very close to my picture on that one too. Yeah, I can't see the rest of the trip at all. This is that branch up there. That's that leaning down. Can you see the leaves on that one? They're they're weird. They they almost they're yes. Yeah. Knee and they're yeah. yeah. There they are. Oh, you want did you want gallery? Yeah, I mean, it's fine now. It's camera sharing. Sharing. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't know what kind of tree that is. Yeah, I think it's... it's okay. Yeah. Oh, we have different... Give me yeah. I'm not hearing you, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you around tomorrow morning so that the commission chair can stop by? Um, he can stop by any time and look at it, whether I'm home or not, sure. Okay. I mean, if you if you uh, are you looking for tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow uh, morning. We'll be okay. there about nine. At what time? About nine. Yeah, I could. Okay, that will be fine. I'll be here. See you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Any other public comment? Any discussion? Um, okay. So, well, I know Brandon is a bit of cheese, right? So, maybe we want to wait till. I think we have a meeting. How was that? Do you want to get your feedback now? Or you, yeah. Well, do you want to get your feedback now or do you want to wait until Brandon's? Well, we're going to wait until Brandon's. Okay. 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 Okay.
So I'm part of the bylaw review committee who's working on updating the general bylaws and just going through all and there's big minor updates, but they we were looking at the weapons bylaw and it could definitely be some updating. So I was wondering what people are thinking and how much they're willing to how much energy they're willing to put into a, a bylaw update for a It is kind of out of date. And I was looking at other towns, Sunderland, Southampton, Belgium Town. They all follow loosely the MACC model bylaw, which is like a template basically that MACC has and you can pick and choose what you want to incorporate into your own town's bylaw. It is a standard, it's like it, it's basically like it's gone through all the hoops that you need to jump through in order to, you know, create a bylaw. So I have a copy. Um, if you want to take a look at it, you could also I could share other towns like. <laughs> um, it would involve some work in public outreach. It was I knew it would be a pretty big. Undertaking just because our bylaw becomes half a page and the model bylaws, like the whole thing is almost 10 pages, and obviously we wouldn't just take all of that, we would pick and choose what we want. But right now, there's in our bylaw currently, there's not really an exemption for like utility maintenance or anything, so it's not really, it's not very effective in how we apply it. It's, it just, it doesn't account for certain things that we account for in our decisions, but isn't codified. So it would just kind of be cleaning up, you know, what our bylaws said, the goal of the bylaw, and like how we actually um, apply it to projects around. That day is a lot of cleaning up. Yeah, and, and this is like everything, like we would not have to take 10 pages, but it's just like everything that you could possibly like want to include, they have it in here. So you like, if we don't really need like, a security bond section with other kinds of security bonds, we can just totally get rid of that, you know, and then like shorten whatever we want. Because I, I know that with, I don't I don't think we want the babies of bylaw, no. <laughs> but it, it just makes it more sound. Large problem with that. Um, you probably not being ridiculous thing, but we'll miss our bylaw. So yeah, the format that most towns or towns that have kind of revised their bio in the past honestly 20 years, um, they separate into different sections. They have a purpose that it is a lot of repeating kind of some of the wetlands protection act things where it states the interest of the act. Um, and you can kind of expand on that. So if you want to include other interests, like I think in some of the include recreation of interest, which we don't need to do, but it's just an example. Um and it has a whole section for exemptions and exceptions, which kind of elaborates on the agricultural exemption, which, was, which will be important because I don't, I think right now the Bible like, mentions agriculture in one sentence and that's it, but there's not really any definition. So it would help like clarify some things that aren't clear right now and are right now open to interpretation and wouldn't really hold up if somebody starts to scrutinize it. Um, it also lays out some of the processes, like if somebody's projects, is subject to the bylaw, how do they apply for a permit for the bylaw? And it basically just, I don't know, it cleans up the process a little bit. Can you send us this information? Definitely. And then maybe a couple of surrounding towns, but what, what they're doing to Yeah, totally. So we can maybe just review it all. Yeah. And then it'll make it easier to adopt um, regulations or policies in the future. You can kind of create a framework where the bylaw can hold, you know, can hold for it allows for like it, a more organized way of adopting policies and regulations. Um, what else? I think also including definitions would be helpful, especially in terms of agriculture and ulceration. Um, defining and elaborating on the 35 foot notice start zone because right now we just say 35 feet, you can't do anything. Um, 
But I mean, there's projects where you have to work in the 35 foot zone if you're replacing a culvert or doing ditch maintenance or something. So those are all things to consider when we mm -hmm. revise our current bylaw. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So I can send around the MACC model bylaw and then the example that I found that we can use point of what others in the area are doing um, and how they're adapting the model bylaw to what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when are you looking to have this uh, all the first or comedy uh, involved? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't Very good policy. Yeah. Okay, the things that I want to back on are the mitigation requirements. So, how many trees you need to replace if you're cutting down a tree or resource area? And, well, actually, I'll give you a second to look a little bit first. But, yeah, there's a few things I um, want your opinion on. Okay. Um, uh, I think the mitigation is more sensitive or you know what I'm trying to do. Matt, why isn't there's another problem essentially right there? Yeah. Kind of you're leaning like this over gas tank, you should cut it out. I'm not going to replace it either. Right, right. We should have found a sense thing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, I wanted to talk about mitigation um, and also the numbers of trees that, so in the area, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Companies are where they're talking about the program, right? They're required to be required to be shifted. Um, they review an application process. So there's different categories where if it's one tree in the resource area, then conservation agent can administratively approve it. And then if it's then the commission can approve up to three trees in the resource area to be removed. So those numbers I just I don't know if it's not appropriate or I'm gonna reduce them. Well, we can use it, we can adopt it, makes me fun we have to build and modify it. We have something to show to people. Yeah. And I know it's another something that other I I looked at like the town policy. They have if an arborist certifies that it's a the tree, then we can really go. Make that decision. Um something about I would do that at the board. Yeah. You know, if we thanks. <laughs> if we if you come to us and you treat it, we think you agree with that. We don't need to know this. It's not just common sense. But how about, like, how about like this one here? That's a kingdom. Yeah, that's a good price. We're going to have to take it again. Right, right, yes. We take it. Like we're going to say, 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 Oh, absolutely. I'll take that into the weapons if it gets into credit. I'm going to see if there's a stone tree. 
But if something like this, if something like this came through, would A to A apply and would be able to say, be, be, be okay to say, okay, we come out. Right. So, yeah, like, do you think this is too rigid? We really haven't had a problem. Well, we did it here, but the right here it says pose a risk of safety. And that should have been the thing. Mm -hmm. Cut out. And it's leading over dots. Leading into the river. It looks bad. It should be taken. Not that sense. It should be taken out. Well, and it says right here, pose a risk of safety. Who saw exposed? Yeah, yeah. Most of the trees are the little trees. Who saw exposed? It's amazing. You should see uh, this weekend at pictures. Two years, three years went out. Saturday afternoon, and Sunday morning. There was all oh, kinds of similar closing. Oh, wow. <laughs> all these dollars. 40 dollars. Wow. Really? 60 quarters. Yes. But it's a good thing. You were, you were tapping with a tap and a door and a thing swooping. I had to grab the tent and he was going to fill up the air. Um, no. Take it home over here. I think it's a uh, overall probably fine. I mean, there are there are things for the agent. Where are you looking for a little bit of direction? Yeah. In that industry, you do an application process? And yeah. Yeah. Was, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Because I, I don't know if it's too rigid, if, you, if there needs to be more situations that are covered. Um, well, overall, do you think that this would be helpful? We've never made a person get a tree on a plan at all. If it, if it is several trees. Well, this is like what we'll here, yeah, about mixes. We don't need to talk because she's down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. On. Yeah. Well, if they don't want the tree, they don't want to make a kind of call. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I think it came up. It did come up. Didn't you discuss it at, at the site on Scoop Cell? Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Okay. Um, but. Do we tell them they have to be? No, 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 we didn't. I didn't know we did. No, they were waiting. Oh, I think we, we told them to leave stuff for what they. Yeah, but we didn't make a good choice. Yeah. No, nah, we that's what I said. I don't think we've ever made any of It can include shrubs too. So I think, like, doesn't have to be in the tree. They don't want a tree there. This is just, this is something that was included in almost yeah. every other tree policy. Okay. Right. That's so I'm a little wary of not including it. Mm -hmm. Because that's usually what is required when applicants apply for a new replacement area. It's just kind of small to I Well, we should probably promote this after me. Make a motion to accept the June 11th 
Um, all the receipts are here. And then we'll call the promotion page and we gotta get it done away. Yes. Look for a moment to do a great motion here. Make a motion of the number of sale for all expenses. Uh, yeah. Three hours of both of us. You know, that's a total? Total yeah. month? For $53.40. Steve said, like, you know, second, third, 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thirteen. Yeah. So the motion will be there. Both of you are seeing the organ. Back in the red. If there's questions, then I'll be there. Five. Five. Action. 